Adams Cut, located just a few kilometres east of Bridport, is a significant man-made feature. It diverts the Great Forrester River into Anderson Bay, some four kilometres from its original mouth. The Great Forrester River originally flowed through the Barnboogle estate, running close to the sea in a twisting course that caused flooding over valuable farming land. In the early 1900s, the Adams brothers purchased the estate and nearby land. They drew up a plan to straighten and divert the river to prevent flooding of their property. Back in 1845, the then owner of Barnboogle, Mr Stevenson, had written to the Surveyor-General to ask for a relocation of his grant, as when he visited it, he had to employ local sealers to row him over his land that was over a metre under water. In 1913, E.B. Adams, with a £600 grant from the government, started cutting a diversion for the river. Unfortunately, the money ran out before it was completed and the diversion soon filled in. In 1922, despite government surveyors declaring that the diversion was not feasible, the Adams brothers recommenced the diversion by constructing a number of channels or short cuts to straighten the river course, and then a large cut through the sand dunes to the sea. Much hard labour with axes, spades, horses and bullocks was needed to dig the cut, especially through areas of thick tea tree. A horse-drawn scoop was used to deepen the channel after the water had flowed through to the sea. During the excavation of the cut, the Adams brothers found this monster freshwater lobster nearly a metre long. These photographs show just how much sand had to be removed for the cut to work. A layer of black hardpan under the sand made work even harder. Today the cut is much wider than originally. The dynamics of the competing forces of the sea and water of the Great Forrester River are continually changing. The actual outlet of the cut is constantly changing. Over time, the sand being deposited by the sea along the beach forces the outlet further west. About every 10 years, it is necessary to cut through the extensive sandbar at the mouth of the cut. Otherwise, the river would probably cut back to the original channel and flood the Barnburger Lynx course and clubhouse.
in the distance, you can just see how close the original Great Forrester River Channel is to the present cut. This photo and video, taken a few years ago, shows the cut being gradually forced to the west. In 2016, the water from the cut flows out to sea as far east as it can go. In the future, this outlet will be forced to the west. Construction of the cut is still a somewhat controversial project. Some people maintain diverting the Great Forester River through the cut has been the cause of the silting up of the river mouth at Bridport. Today at low tide, the river mouth at Bridport is only knee deep in water the same depth that James Scott reported when he crossed this area in 1836. Today the cut divides a prestigious Barnboogle Lynx course from its sister Lost Farm course. As we fly inland over the cut, we can see what this would have looked like back in 1924.
the Adams brothers would be amazed if they could see that the land they worked hard to free from flooding is being used not only as a golf course, but for the noble game of polo. Whichever way you look at it, the cut is a testament to the perseverance of man's determination to sculpture nature for his own purposes.